Hey folks, the Red Scourge here, and welcome back. So I believe I'd mentioned it in a previous video that I was planning on doing some brief little tutorial videos for college football revamped modding, like when it came to modding uniforms, modding teams, and all that. Because um, there's a lot of great stuff on the Discord server, and obviously you're more than welcome to go there and search and also ask questions if you can't find it but i find it really easy to you know just look up a youtube video and there's some really good guides out there and a lot of what i found is either not exactly what i was looking for or a full-on team modding guide which is great too but it doesn't cover a lot of the detail stuff that i was looking for so that's what this is going to be and i'm just going to take it a little chunks at a time with things I've run into that I know tend to be common problems. And at some point, I'm also planning to do kind of a, an introductory like tips and tricks video for uh, when you're brand new to modding the uniforms and teams and all that, uh, just things to look for. But this one's going to be pretty focused. So I'm making my Idaho State team, and it's pretty, the, the team is pretty much done. Um, but I'm having an issue. Well, it's not an issue. I'm running into something that is pretty common. So I haven't gone into the EA editor and done any of that. So it still says Charlotte 49ers. So got my team in here. Don't mind the orange shoes. I'm still working that out. I think that's, uh, that's either in the mix match or RSF files. And I believe that's an RSF issue. So you see my face mask here is white doesn't really match the helmet and i'm using this because it's my home jersey and for demonstration purposes we're going to use this face mask so it's showing white like the original charlotte 49ers helmet would this really is going to be a black face mask in the future but i'm going to use this one and we're going to use a custom color uh because it'll be a little bit better and hopefully you know, this will really apply if you're using black if you're using white it's the same process but we're going to use a custom color just to show you um i followed glock zero's full team youtube video when i started getting into uniform modding and he just he kind of took a shortcut in the video with some like preset colors that he had like black and white from you can pull them from different teams that's a whole other thing um, and I don't want to get off too much on a tangent to my knowledge this is the best method to use and easiest user oplong80 uh, suggested this on the discord server so shout out to him he's been a huge help I think he's helped me with a couple different things if you're working on a team and you need help in the discord go to community creations that kind of that channel that's where you ask for help so all right without further ado got the wrong color face mask so we're gonna back out here and go edit it obviously this is pc for ps3 the what you do to the files is going to be the same now how you get it in onto your ps3 i don't know um so we're going to open up the AST editor. See, I've got it pinned down here, and I've got a shortcut over here. You use this a lot, so if you're editing, it's good to do. So you are going to open your helmet file. So I've got, I followed Glock Zero's tutorial. I've got new exports, new imports. So new exports. If you're brand new to this, this might not make a lot of sense. But if you're watching this video, likely you've done some uniform modding. So this will make a little more sense. New exports is obviously where I pulled all the files out. And these are as is from the mod. So I'm replacing 1837. So we're going to go in here. And so obviously you have three files. You're probably familiar with this. So the top one's the RSF file. That is what we need. So we're going to extract that, and that will just go into new exports. After I, You don't have to close the editor after extracting, but I've gotten so used to closing the editor after saving anything that I do it after one step because it opens really quickly anyway. So anytime I do something, I tend to just close the editor. Um, a lot of trial and error with the game crashing or freezing and i just i do one step at a time and make sure it works okay so i don't want to 
I want to make sure I don't breeze through this too quickly. So you go file and you want to open your RSF file. You have to select that option. And so here's my RSF file for just the helmet. So if you are new to RSF files, it looks like kind of a lot. But if you're focused in what you do here, it's okay. Um, I'm brand new to RSF file modding. And someone recently on the Discord said they thought only about 20 people outside of the mod creators know how to deal with the RSF files. and <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. So uh, you're going to work from the top window first. Material list. You're going to scroll down and face mask material. So you click on that. So you're working with the base color here at the top. So how this works is data zero is your R value. Data one is going to be your G value and data two is gonna be your B value. And so these apparently are the values for white. So if you're watching this and you want a white face mask, just plug in 0 0.945 and make sure it saves and then you're good to go and then follow the rest of the steps. Now we want a custom color for the sake of this tutorial. So <laughs> I actually had up what I was doing. So um, this is Idaho State's orange. That's my custom color. So to get the values that you need for that, because obviously those aren't the normal RGB values, you go into image and mode and then come down here. So it's normally, I believe, on 8 bits per channel. I've already selected 32 bits, but if you're not on it, which you likely are not, select 32 bits per channel um, and then you come down here and assuming you have your color selected you know like do what you need to do to get your custom color I could you know take the dropper tool and and pick that so you double click on that window to uh, your color window and then here are your values you plug in so it's pretty simple um, so for R dot nine three zero one and then you're going to put that into the data zero. I always hit enter. I don't know if you need to, but I'm always extra careful with this stuff because I'd rather not waste my time. Do the same with the green value. And lastly, the blue value, same thing. Now, if you're new to RSF editing, it seems to do this every time for me. So. This is one way you can do it. Just grab your file name here. I don't think the file names actually matter. I've modded, I, I've changed the file names away from kind of what was initially in the AST file. Uh, if it, it was my black jersey, I had just called it black.dss was the, the image file and it's been fine, but I tend to keep these if they don't really matter too much. Uh, so you go save as... I have had an issue, uh, I had an issue testing this where it wanted to save as an AST and I don't know why. And so I, if that for some reason happens to you, close out the editor and go back through, open it as a, an RSF file because I, I don't know what I was trying to do. So put your file name in there. You can grab your file name here too if you want and then put it wherever you put the mods. Okay, see, <laughs> I've already got mine here from when I just tested this to make sure. I knew all the steps. Um, so you save it, and you're probably going to get this error. I've done a little bit of RSF modding as far as colors go, and I get the unhandled exception error every time. I just hit continue and close it out. Now, more than likely, it's fine and it's saved. You know, like I said, every time you make a change, go in and test it and go from there because more than likely it's fine. I, but I mean, sometimes you have weird colors show up. Sometimes things are pink. Um, so we want to open the AST editor again and get our helmet file. Um, this is my somewhat completed one without the face mask done. So we are just going to use this for testing purposes. Replace your RSF file with the one you just modded. Um, and then, yeah, save your helmet file. I'm going to save it on my desktop because I'm actually not going to use this one for the team. Oop. File name would be helpful for saving. Anytime you save, close the editor. I don't know why, but since I've been doing that, I've had very few issues. 
Um, okay, and then you go into USR DIR folder. Um, yours probably won't look exactly like this. I've got a couple folders in here of uh, you know stuff I've modded or stuff I tend tend to use. We are going to open QKL dash FE two IG which if you're still here by this point in the video, you are likely familiar with. And if not, you have no idea what's going on. Uh, okay, and it was 1837. I probably don't need to show this whole thing, but just for the sake of thoroughness I'm going to all right save your file in there cool and we're gonna go in this is the fe2 ig that I've been working with so I'm gonna name it something else so I can go back to it after this and not have an orange face mask then you boot up RPCS3, and away we go. All right, and now we should have an orange face mask. There you are. I do want to say uh, thank you to all of you for watching the video, and especially to the newer subscribers. Um, I surpassed 100 uh, subscribers and then 150 subscribers and I fully intended to do like a quick thank you video or just sort of some bonus content from the triple option or something like that and I've been fully meaning to do it and uh, I haven't so thank you I'm at about 100 and I think 184 subscribers now which is crazy to me because I haven't been that consistent with what I upload um, so yeah thank you for subscribing if you have questions about uniform modding at least this more basic stuff um you can always drop it down in the comments but i would suggest joining the college football revamped discord server a lot of really helpful people there and i wouldn't be able to do any of this without them so um keep an eye out for more of these videos in the future uh once i get this idaho state team set um uh, i'm likely to do a really slow uh triple option flex bone dynasty with them just real slow moving as i do and um and yeah so keep an eye out and i will see you next time